All right, everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Time to explore. Oh, okay, well, good. We didn't go this way earlier. That was perfect. <clears throat> okay, so just from our time of collecting Pokemon cards on this channel, that looks like Cynthia. <laughs> oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay, hello, Seth. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. Yeah, I was right. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using e Blech, good lord. Try using these, they should help you on your way. TM93s, what do we got? <clears throat> hey! <laughs> Cut! There we go. <laughs> you mean all I had to do was go this way? It will let you go places that were previously inac inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Well, appreciate that, Cynthia. I was just about to read the sign. But I'm glad you came along. Team Classic Eterna Building, we want your Pokemon. Okay, so we're way ahead of the game then as far as... Um... Hey, look. Oh, uh, we have to go up there and cut and go around. I just saw that item. So, I wonder if on uh, Pearl, I don't, Brilliant Diamond and what was Pearl? Was it Shining Pearl or something like that? I wonder if theirs is Palkia. <laughs> yeah, once created, brought time into being. In laughter or in tears, the same time flows. Such is the blessing of Dia. <laughs> the text is barely legible and is faded completely in places. It's Dialga. That's who that is. Um, okay, we'll go up there and cut and do all that, but right now we're just talking to people. I'm assuming that probably is Palkia, though, in the other version. <laughs> We've seen the Pokemon statue. Centerpiece of many festivals. That's, that's, that's so crazy. You know, you just think about life. Like, this, I know this is just a video game, but like these old people's like, you know, we used to gather around that statue when I was a kid. And I don't know. That's weird. That's a, that was a weird segue for me right there, but uh, I'm sorry. Anyways, we absolutely would like to. A wild, a wild Bidoof. You mean to tell me that one of our Pokemon doesn't help us. Thief. Um, that bullet seed move that I taught Badu, I think I said that was a TM. And it was. And I needed to check on that thing for Staravia, but I never did. Either way, here we are. Um... So are we not battling? Are you here to donate your Pokemon? What? You're not? Then kindly get off our property. Brent. Oh, okay, here we go. I was going to say, surely... Um, Wurmple and a Zubat. Now, them Zubats, as a poison type, is we can probably take it down with a Psychic type, but I think we should be okay. Or, or even a, uh, well, okay, super effective. Okay, it's just effective against Zubat, but we'll we'll just do that because I'm gonna have. Man, my, my controller legit, like, glitched out there.
Take this thing down. Come on. Beautiful. Of course, we're, we're, we're fairly way over the levels here, so we should be good. Wing attack should do the worm plan. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Cascoon. Okay. I did learn something about normal types. Fighting types do good against them. So guess what? <laughs> guess what we're doing <laughs> against Glamiao. <laughs> um, wing attack against Cascoon. We should be good here. If I'd known that about normal types a few episodes back when we fought that per ugly, I would have, uh, I would have straight up, uh, Badoo to level 19. I would have straight up used like Machop or something. This is going splendidly. I love how it didn't even, didn't even give me an option to like, that's what I want to change out. I feel like I got meddled with. But, but dearie, you're just a kid. All the grunts have the same voice. All right, onward and upward. Let's do this. <laughs> what is this? We don't have to fight these guys. Oh, we, we don't have to fight the first one. Okay, fair enough. Challenge my team, Galactic Grunt. Um, okay, Wormhole. You know, I wish I knew what they were going to use. I mean, I kind of, I guess I kind of have an idea, but either way. I like to give some of my other uh, Pokemon some love here. Let them get the XP for the uh, knockouts here. See, now I said poison types are weak against psychic types. So I may just go ahead and send Psyduck out for this. We'll try that Zen Headbutt out. This is probably a terrible move, by the way. I could probably save Psyduck because he's a water type. Also, Zubat is a flying type. We could probably send out Luxio, which is probably what I should have done since it's lower level. But uh, who cares? Let's just do this. Zen Headbutt. Ooh, super effective, it said. Oh my god! No, that that was good. <laughs> that was, I'm down with that. That was good. That was beautiful. What well, we got? Two more battles. We'll just uh, do this. We'll talk to him. We could, I guess, we could skip this, but what's the point, really? Let's just do it. Silicon. Okay, so this would be good for uh, Starabia here, but we we've got a. Uh, We've got Ember. Ember will take it down. And like I said, Nor I probably didn't even fight these guys if I didn't have to. Like back in the day, I just didn't even care. Staravia is level 22. And Luxio is level 18. Wonderful. Luxio wants to learn to move Spark. Should an old move be forgotten? Uh probably. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess charge since it does nothing. <laughs> we are conducting research on new forms of energy. We want to harness the mysterious power of Pokemon. So there was only two battles. That was even better. Anything over here? I 
We ain't getting out of this one. Why, well, thank you. We love it when people come to us to donate their Pokemon. That man, you guys suck as bad as Team Rocket. Your name's not as cool either. Um. Okay. This reminds me when we get to Goldenrod City in Johto when we have to go up the radio tower and fight Rocket. One of the game corners. Remember those? Yeah, we'll swap to uh, Staravia. Give Staravia some love. Yeah, last episode, I didn't mean to spend nearly as much time down in that Grand Underground as I did, but that was so cool. I, I still didn't go back down there. I need to. That, that's a really cool place. I don't know to catch that Hound Hour to have it. Or Hound Doom. It wasn't Hound Hour. It was Hound Doom. So now Zubat, will you switch? Yeah, we'll switch. We're going to put Psyduck in. Psyduck's my psychic type now. Psyduck's my psychic water, my go-to. These dual, these dual uh, types here are beautiful. Although I noticed that Zen Headbutt did have like an 85% accuracy. I think is what it said. But uh, we're still going to use it. I don't care what anybody says about you, Psyduck. I needed a water type and you came through. And it turns out you're... You're helping me tremendously here. What do you think you're doing? I'm kicking your ass. Wait a minute. We're off for the new world and our boss will leave. I thought this was just a regular dude. He's a galactic scientist, isn't he? Scientist Trayvon. Cadabra. Man. I really, 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 really should send in Psyduck here. You know what? Let's flame wheel him. Not Psyduck. Doesn't matter anyways. He fainted. Psychic is weak against um, <clears throat> a dark type. Machop is who I should have sent in. Or Luxio, because Luxio knows Bite. This won't go unpunished. You're as, you're as bad as a grunt. Did we make it? What is it with this Team Galactic? Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? Eh, did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Yeah, that's gonna happen. That's a commander? Commander Jupiter. We've already fought Mars. Now we're fighting Jupiter. Zubat again. Okay, well, I'm going to keep Inferno out and just use Flame Wheel. Hopefully it does something. Because I don't want to switch and then screw myself. Okay, good enough. Not good enough when they do the Oh, thank God. I'm, I'm, I'm mixing my sentences up here. I'm getting nervous. I'm sitting there screaming and hollering about, no, not Supersonic, but it didn't land anyways. Doesn't matter. Zubat fainted. Who do we got next? Skuntank. I don't know what Skuntank is, but it almost sounds like a normal type, which... You know what? Let's just keep you, man. 
Oh my god, what even is that? Let's try Flame Will. Ew, not good. Oh, it's a poison type! Which, you know, if we put Psyduck in, that would have been really good. Okay. Power up punch. Oh my god. This is not good. And I really don't want us to faint. So I think I am going to swap out for... Uh... Okay, well what is he? Is he a fire type? What is he here? What we got going on here? I wish... You know, you know on the, the anime, the TV show, he pulls out a Pokedex like Skunk Tank. Someone's a type. I've never even heard of Skunk Tank. What do we do? Psyduck or Machop? Let's do Psyduck. Screw it. We're going with that Zen headbutt, baby. We're going to see if this works. He used a poison type move, so that leads me to believe he's probably a poison type. Probably. Even though he used Flamethrower. So what is he, a water type? If he's a water type, that's good too. Your Flamethrower does no... Well, it does more than I thought it would do. Okay. Zen headbutt. Let's see what you got. Oh. Okay, good. Doesn't affect the opposing skin tank. What? That's not good. Let's try water pulse. <laughs> of course we don't avoid it this time. <laughs> you know, normally I'm really good with the Pokemon and the names and the types and shit. Man, this is absolutely terrible. I should've just kept... I should've just kept... Uh, <clears throat> Inferno in. My last ditch effort here since this is maybe a normal type. Let's see if let's see if I can do some damage here with uh Machop. Special attack fell. Damn. You know what? I'm going to use a super potion on the chop, and we're going to see if we can tank this thing out. Probably going to have to take two more attacks from him, at least. Unless he uses poison gas. Damn it! Stop, flamethrower. That did more damage than I was hoping it was going to do. Let's finish this. Yes! That's what I wanted. <laughs> I didn't want him to attack me. Poison's not good, but we can we can deal with poison. This should end him. Beautiful. Man, that was hard. I'm gonna have to look up Skunk Tank. Psyduck's level 20. Man, everybody did, didn't they? Badoo's level 20. Inferno's a level 25. And Luxio's a level 19. Wonderful. Commander Jupiter. You were semi-hard there. I'll, I'll tell you that. Mars had the Perugly and you had the Skunk Tank or whatever. Man. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. And Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon with the power of mythical Pokemon. He will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. I got my Clefairy back and it's all thanks to you. But that Team Galactic, they say Clefairy came from space, hand it over. Their logic baffles me still. It's like they're from it's like they're from space. Anyways, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? Hey, the cycle shop. Okay. We most certainly will. Nothing to see here.
free. We're back. Where am I going? Okay. Thanks for rescuing me. I can't thank you enough. Say, let me give you a bike to show my gratitude. Please come with me for a moment. I'd like you to choose a color for your bike. Which one will it be? Uh, blue. <laughs> Do you want a blue bike? Yes. Marvelous, you've chosen a dignified blue. It almost seems like you can see the bubbles. Of, of Squirtle reflected on it. You're in it. It's perfect for you. Put the bike in the bag's key item. This is the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual to you. Press the B button to shift gears, it says. In third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but it'll be easier to handle. In fourth gear, you can ride at full speed and climb up slopes. Your bike can take you through all sorts of towns, roads, and routes. Now get out there and ride. Now north of Jubilife, I think's where it was, or Orberg. North of Orberg is where it had the, uh, uh, that little thing we could go up, that slope. There was a couple, there was in the Orberg place, or the mine. Maybe it was Orberg mine. We could jump, I could jump if I got it up to full speed. But, we got a bike now. Beautiful. Let's go in here real quick. I'm in a vigilant 24 hour watch. Alright, talk to these people. The name raider. No. The name raider's just chilling here at the condos. Do you got that Pokemon named Buizel? We almost did. Want to trade it for my Chetot. You know what? I don't have a Buizel, so I can't. I almost had a Buizel, but I accidentally fainted it. You know, speaking of a turn of forest, there is a place I can cut and go north there, and I may do that. I may not do it off camera. I don't know what I'll do. TMs for the move recycle for such a long time. Hey, what do we got? TM 67s. I'm assuming that's recycle. This is why we talk to people to give us stuff. Nothing too, uh, nothing too important here. All right. Well, that was useless. <laughs> Outside of getting that TM that we'll probably never, ever use. And the name raiders here, if we decide to go down that path, which we probably won't. Either way. I'm trying to trigger a cutscene or something here. Travel south on Cycling Road. Okay, south it is. Uh, what's our town map? Yep, Cycling Road is right here and that's gonna take us to Orberg City. Orberg City, where we've already been. But we do have our bike now. So not only that, we can uh, probably take a few different tours and it looks like we're probably headed to Heartthome City uh, next. I don't know why we can't just go over here to Celestic Town, but I didn't make the game. But I really, I'm, I'm, I might actually, uh... you know what? We got a little time right now. Let's do it right now. Hopefully I don't get into anything too much. You got a bike. You can ride down Cycling Road and end up in Hearthome City. It's a fast and fun ride. You should check it out. Oh, so it's not going to let us go backwards. <laughs> okay. Okay. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Well, then we're not doing that. We are going to... We're going down Cycling Road next time. Thank you so much for watching.